Hey guys, good morning. It's Tuesday the 5th and today we are doing some yummy shrimp paella. This will be the first time I do this in the Instant Pot, so let's hope it comes out good. The only thing is I know that I'm following a little bit of my dad's recipe. Um, it's probably not going to be as elaborate because I'm going to do it as simple as possible, but I'm hoping for a good positive dish. I can't, you know what, I suck with my words lately. I don't know what the hell's going on with me. But anyways, yes, Instant Pot um, Shrimp Paella. You are using Jumbo Frozen Shrimp. I use the Raw Tail on Costco brand. Uh, there's two pounds in this bag. Uh, there's 25, 21 to 25 Jumbo Shrimp in each pound. So they're pretty big. Let me show you what this looks like. Um, I am going to leave the tail on and I'm going to use them frozen. So I'm gonna use half of this bag for the recipe, okay? Do not use the little shrimps that you buy at the, the supermarket in a cheap bag. If you're gonna do a shrimp ray, you do it right. Big ass shrimp. You can definitely, definitely, definitely add some scallops to this or some calamari, but for the sake of making it simple and fast and easy, use shrimp and maybe the second time around when you've done it once, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to add a full seafood paella. Um, so I'm trying out with the shrimp first because I know um, it's probably the easiest way to do it. And then I'll go heavy into the other seafoods. Today, my little ballerina is wearing her own special outfit. Taimade. She's wearing pants with a tutu and a love sweater. Taimade. Anyways, first thing we want to do, go ahead and turn on your Instant Pot to saute. Um, you're going to go ahead and take four tablespoons of butter, add up in the Instant Pot. She still has this pale thing, guys. Every time she farts, she goes to the bathroom. And literally, it's death. So you're going to go ahead and put your butter in your pot. You're going to go ahead and heat that up. And then once that's heated up and melted, you're gonna go ahead and add your one chopped onion in there and cook that through until the onion is translucent. I like to always tell you to have your um, measurements and everything poured out. So we'll talk about um, how quickly and easy everything. I have my one cup of rice that's already rinsed. Please use jasmine rice or as they call it, arro valencia, either one will work. My red peppers are all chopped up. My frozen shrimps are ready to go. I got my chicken broth. I got my cooking wine. And in here, for the sake of being fast, I put all the spices. So you have a packet of sazon in here. You have, uh, okay, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, a half teaspoon of salt. You also have, uh, carajo. Oh, one teaspoon of cumin. And I think that's it, yeah. Um, if you known of other spices that you like and you want to make this on a little spicier side, you can add some paprika or some red pepper flakes, a teaspoon, I mean half a teaspoon of each will do. Um, but uh, because Haley's going to eat from this too, I try to stay away from the spices. So, And I don't like spices anyways. So once you've been cooking for your on onions for a little bit, you're going to go ahead and add your garlic. Just the garlic. And people always ask, oh, how many cloves of garlic? Garlic is garlic. The more garlic, the better. So I always say from four to eight, depending on what you have. I always use the maximum number. You go ahead and stir that up with the onions. You should start to feel, uh, smell it. It should be starting to smell so good. So this is just like your sofrito. You now can go ahead and add your red peppers. And cook that through. Right now we're gonna go ahead and put the spices in. And in my spices I had one packet of sazon, uh, one teaspoon of cumin, uh, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, uh, uh, black pepper. Still kind of rainy out here. I wanted to go to Disneyland today, but we decided to go next week with my mouse moms. Yes, there is mouse moms, guys. But 
my pool's uh, kind of overflowing, so that's nice because <laughs> now I get to uh, not have to be in La Piscina for a long time and save some money. All right. Once you already cooked the spices in there for a minute, you're gonna go ahead and add your rice. It's one cup of jasmine rice. I could my guys. Okay, you're gonna stir that around and cook it in there for about a minute just to make sure that all the veggies and all the spices get in there with the rice. Okay, once you see that your um, rice is completely coated, you're gonna go ahead and add your one cup, your half cup, I'm sorry, half cup of cooking wine, and your one cup of chicken broth. So to be sure that you have enough liquid, you want to make sure that the liquid is covering your rice and your veg veggies. Um, when I say covering, you just see water on top. You obviously gonna see some some rice in the bottom, but for the most part, it's covering it. Let me show you what that looks like. See how the the water is covering the rice and the veggies? That's how you want to make sure. If you don't feel like it's enough, you can always add a little bit more. Uh, do half. A quarter cup of the chicken stock and a quarter cup of the white wine. Mix that through. All right, so now we're gonna add our, our uh, let me make sure everything, yes, I got everything. So now we're gonna add our shrimp. So I have one pound of the shrimp. These are jumbo shrimp and they are frozen. Make sure they're frozen and they are jumbo. Do not put little shrimps in there, please. They have tail on and uh, they're already deveined and ready to go. I get them from Costco. I think it's like $17 a bag and you get two pounds, which for me is like two different dinners. So I'm just gonna literally put these on top, sitting on top of the rice and my sauce. Okay, once your shrimp is inside the pot, you're gonna go ahead, close your lid, close the valve and set it to pressure cook for five minutes. Five minutes, that's it. Um, you think, is everything gonna cook in five minutes? It will. The rice will be cooked. I'm sorry, guys. She's playing with her brother. Holy crap, mijo. Que jodido te veo. Obviously, he favors the back of his head when he's sleeping. Oh my God, que feo. Let me put him this way. Hi, guys. Much better. So make sure that you do have jumbo shrimp and that they are frozen. If they are not frozen, you are very screwed, my friend, because they're gonna turn into hard rocks so after your five minutes are up please 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 quickly go to your instant pot so check on it don't this is not one of those recipes you want to sit quick release open it up taste it see if the salt see if everything the spices are good if it's not put whatever you think it needs but um i think it should be good so this is my first time doing in the instant pot hoping for a nice successful dinner today um i always think it's good or i at least a six or a seven but the real critic is Oscar he's he will tell me the truth especially if I'm putting this to post people who are gonna do it because then he's like you can't post something that tastes like shit because then people are gonna be like what does she find that's good about this so he's the real critic um, so I'm gonna post this regardless so just FYI this is a new recipe for me this is the first time I do it by uh, in the instant pot so I've done rice in here and it comes out good so What's a little bit of shrimp and different type of ingredients gonna make a difference? Let's see. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, this bad boy was up on five five minutes. I let go of the steam. Ooh, very nice, very pretty, Mina. Okay, so it's not dry, which is fine. It's more La Chorrera, but it has a great color. The smell's delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and taste the rice to don't to buzz double sure that it's cooked through. And if it needs any salt or pepper. It's great. The rice is completely cooked. So because it, it is a little bit on the wetter side, not, not on the drier side, which I prefer to a la chorera, but 
for the sake of trying to make this little dry i'm gonna actually leave it out on the open so it um it dries out the rice a little bit and i do see that it might have needed a little bit of color i should have put some behold in it but no big deal it's still yellow rice if you, as you can see so the taste is great the shrimp look perfectly cooked They're, they don't look super super pink I wonder if I can show it to you. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the lighting sucks. As the shrimp sits in the pot, they're definitely get it, get it, gonna get cooked a little more. So I'm just gonna leave it uncovered, let that rice dry, a dry up a little bit, and then it should be good to go. I'm excited to eat this later on for dinner and for lunch. Um, so yeah. If you do to test out this recipe, please tag me. I want to see if you did anything different, how it came out, if the taste was good. And also, I'm not that I'm running out of recipes because I have a bunch of them, but I would like to do more recipes that you guys want to see. So please send me DMs if you have any requests on recipes. I think up till now I've completed everybody's stuff except for the vegan recipes because I just I don't know. I don't know how to cook without meat. But I, 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 I will try to do some sides. That works, right? But um, also, uh, Insanely Instant on the go. Um, I still haven't done my first uh, appearance at somebody's house. That will be a live uh, post. So obviously you guys will see it and I'll save it on there and also save it and put it on YouTube. But um, I've had over 20, I think oh now like of over 24 requests um, people wanted me to come to their house i'm compiling a list um with everybody's names and addresses and what they would like to cook and how many people are in their family so you can email me to the email that's on my profile if you're interested and depending on how my first run goes and how often i'm going to do them then i'll definitely email you and set up a time for me to come to your house and cook live um i will go ahead and send you if you have a request or you have something that you want Cuban that we've done before, absolutely, we can do it before. I'll send you a list, a grocery list, a week before, so you can go out and get your and go out and get the foods that you need, and then I'll come over and I'll cook live with you. So it'll probably take possibly an hour total uh, between getting to know you and getting to know your family if they're there, and prepping and the actual cooking, and then the the, the final. The final product but i'm still trying to work out the kinks because obviously i would need child care um i would love to bring my kids with uh me all the time but that's not possible so um it's gonna be the, i think time is the biggest issue so i will most probably do it at a friend's house for, first with kids so that my kids can play with their kids and i'll see how it goes and then from there uh, we will start taking requests and doing nearby homes and um, I'll probably start with people I know first because It's my first time too, and I'm nervous Especially going to complete strangers houses, but um, prior to then I'll definitely get to know you guys and make sure that You guys are not stalkers or psycho killers Or loco pa carajo because that would be scary I know Taekwondo, I'm a black belt, I'm in karate. Just kidding. I know how to kick some ass if I need to, so do not mess with me. Anyways, shrimp paella, ready to go. If you try it, let me know. It will be up on YouTube later. So, happy Tuesday, guys. I gotta go pick up my niece from school in a little bit, so I gotta go. Bye!